Welcome to Huntsford, a small market town in the heart of the English countryside. Will Huntsford turn pink for Breast Cancer Day and Chantelle berates Raymond for losing something special? Oh, hello, Fiona, Alison. I'm glad you two are here together. No, we're not together. We just happen to be taking a break at the same time. For goodness sake, Alison, just because we're being civil to each other, Carmela's not suggesting we're a couple. I should hope not. I wanted to talk to you both about Breast Cancer Day. Uh, 17th, isn't it? I thought if we all work together, we can really turn the street pink. Can't we just do our own thing? Sell some badges at the desk? Have a collection tin? We're all businesses run by women. Together we can make a much bigger splash. That sounds good to me. Oh yeah, we all work our socks off fundraising and Charlotte Webb grabs a photo opportunity to present a cheque as Hunsford's most caring MP. Certainly not. If there's any publicity, then we all share in it. In fact, Alison, you can hand over the cheques if it makes you feel better. That's not a problem, is it, Fiona? No, not at all. What do you want us to do? Dress up? Sell stuff? Hand out leaflets? Well, we can all sell pink balloons, wristbands and badges. I'm doing pink cupcakes. Oh, they'd be a bit messy for the salon. Would you be happy to give reduced hair prices to anyone wearing pink? Where's the profit in that? It's not all about money. It's about raising awareness. Even people just asking, why is everybody wearing pink? I suppose. Even young women get breast cancer. Yes, we should raise awareness of the importance of self-examination right from a young age. If cancer is detected early, it can be treated before it spreads. So are you two actually agreeing about this? Are you happy to do something together? Oh, I'm up for it. Me too. Look, I've got to get back now. Can you email me the balloon and wristband suppliers? Hmm? Bye. Why did you wind her up like that about being a couple? I thought you just wanted to be friends. Well, I want us to stop fighting, but she's so negative. I can't resist the odd dig. I really want us all to work together on this. Oh, don't worry. The more I annoy her, the more determined she'll be that trimming well does better than wavelengths. Raymond? Where's Raymond? Goodness me, Chantal. Where's the fire? What fire? It's my parcel I want. What parcel? I'm always taking in parcels for you. The other day, you signed for four parcels and only gave me three. Are you sure there were four? I only remember three heavy boxes. They were tracked. I saw your signature. The fourth was small, but very important. Why can't you be here to sign for your own parcels? I'm not an unpaid porter, you know. It was a really expensive bottle of skin serum. If you've lost it, I'll expect full compensation. Oh, this is too stressful. I'm going to take a calming break. Honestly, Sam, that girl is impossible. I'm not going to lose our no-claims insurance for a little bottle of beauty product. Well, Dad, you've got to replace it. Now we've finally got Fiona and Alison talking, I don't want Chantelle stomping around me in a temper. All right, my dear. I'll make my peace. Chantelle, can you come in here for a moment, please? What is it? Have you found my parcel? No, no. But if you can replace the serum from one of the Cambridge shops, the salon will refund the difference between the wholesale and the retail price. It's not that simple, Raymond. What do you mean? A Chinese friend, who has the most perfect skin, sent it over from Taiwan. You can't get it here. Surely she can send you another bottle? Not in time for my opening. If I let the clients down, I'll lose face. Given your business, that would be worse than losing a parcel. I mean, if faces started disappearing, well... That's not funny, Raymond. I've had flyers printed and taken bookings. If you can't get it back, I'll expect compensation for the printing and the lost business. Well, let's discuss it with... (laughs) Here is Fiona. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, Raymond. Where do you think we should put this? What? That twisty metal thing? Is it some kind of modern art? It's Japanese. My David collects bronze. It looks really classy. It's a hockey side tribute. Bet it was pricey. I don't know. It was a good luck with a salon present from a friend. We're wavelengths. It's called the Wave. It's a very nice statue, but 
personally, I've had it up to here with waves and water and with Robbie's stupid swimming dare. If it's really valuable, we shouldn't put it on display in case it gets stolen. We don't want any more claims on our insurance. What do you mean? Any more claims on our insurance? What's been happening while I've been out? 